I never thought that I'd be a princess. I didn't look like a supermodel. I couldn't braid my hair, or paint my nails. I couldn't walk around with fabulous posture, bouncing 10 books on my head. Thank goodness that's not how the Isley Festival picks their princess. They just wanted someone with a heart, ready to serve their community. Amazingly enough, they chose me. God chose me. It's always amazing to me how God uses moments in our lives to remind us that He's got us, to encourage us to keep fighting. He saw me struggling to define who I was, and He used the Isaiah Festival to remind me of my most important role, His Princess. We've learned together what it means to be a princess, and before I go, I want to share a little bit of that with you. These are the five tenets of the Princess Code, a poem written by Sky. A princess aims for perfection in every step. A princess inspires others to follow their hopes and dreams through pursuing her own. A princess has dignity, which protects her from the opinions and spite of ignorant people. A princess's most precious jewel is hope, which lights her darkest days and shows her the beauty in every soul she meets. A princess grows in recognition and stature in proportion to how much she treats others as royalty. I've had an incredible year as princess. I've worn gowns from Isabella Grape that even Kate Middleton could only imagine. I've met all sorts of different people at the various festivals who've inspired me with their passion for what they do. I've done service projects and gotten out into the community. I've read picture books to children who've helped me believe in magic again. Most importantly, I've come into my own as God's princess, growing each day in the above tenets. I could not thank the festival more for giving me the opportunity of a lifetime, and thank you to all of you that continue to support the festival. The festival has changed my life, and whether you're a young dancer performing for the first time on its stage, the teenager who decides to pursue music at one of its concerts, or the gardener who sees her lifelong passion validated as people ooh and awe walking through her masterpiece. I'm sure it will change your life too.